Hello, Iowa. I'm Sarah Nelson, president of the Association of Flight Attendants CWA, AFL-CIO, and I'm honored to be invited to this critical conversation about our future and how we can enlist working Americans in the fight to protect our climate, our planet, and create more economic justice for every working American in the process. Today is the last day of my son's spring break, and I owe it to him to spend this time together. But I also know that without a serious effort, the world he'll inherit will be far different and far scarier than the one I lived in when I first took flight at United Airlines. This conversation, and ones like it, are critical. Already the opponents of real action are trying to spread distrust among us. They're telling workers like flight attendants I represent that the Green New Deal will mean the end of air travel. They're telling steel workers and coal miners that the coastal liberals are coming for their jobs. The Green New Deal is a pro-union, pro-jobs resolution. The very first resolved of the resolution starts with the promise of good, high-wage union jobs. The resolution is uncompromising in the need to expand and strengthen our rights to organize and unionize, and the right to a quality job for every American. But too many workers aren't hearing that message. You may have seen a recent op-ed I wrote for Vox on this issue. We know the threat climate change poses to our safety and our jobs with increased dangerous turbulence, grounded flights caused by severe weather, and the destruction of infrastructure that makes air travel possible. It's not the solutions to climate change that kill jobs. Climate change itself is the job killer. We need solutions that put workers first, and we need everyone working together. We can't dismiss anyone we may have been led to believe is against our efforts. Worldwide Aviation adopted a resolution in 2016 to align aviation with the goals set by the Paris Climate Accords and work to abate its contribution to climate change. And over the past 30 years, in fact, manufacturers have cut aircraft emissions in half, equally 25 million cars off the road each of those years. We all want clean air, water, and an earth that can support our children and their children. Unions were among the first to fight for our environment. In 1990, the United Steelworkers said that global warming may, quote, be the single greatest problem we face. And in 2002, the United Mine Workers of America were arrested fighting the environmental practices of Massey Energy. But working in silos will not achieve the change we need. We have to open our arms wide to our common interests and fight together. And that means recognizing that dignity of work matters. We have to honor those who know energy firsthand and have given their lives and their health to power and build our nation. Too many communities have heard the words just transition, only to see jobs disappear while the promise of retraining and new jobs never materializes. Workers are skeptical, and the opponents of meaningful action are taking advantage of that distrust. If we can't overcome suspicion that tackling climate change just means losing jobs, We'll never enlist workers or the millions of people who rely on carbon-based fuel jobs in the solution. But I am hopeful. There is an energy all over this country that is rising up for change. We have more in common as working people than anything that could ever divide us. When we see our sisters and brothers at odds with us, remember, that is the rich and powerful at work. We need to work harder to join together and know that our solidarity is a force stronger than gravity. Many people fought and died to give us the right to freedom of assembly, protest, and the ability to innovate with ideas from every corner of the earth, every gender, race, culture, and creed. And today, it's our turn. Climate change is happening now. Flight attendants see it, feel it, and so do the hundreds of millions of people with us on our planes. Aspiring to achieve a green economy with good union jobs that leave no one behind is exactly the solution we need to fight climate change and provide opportunity for all Americans. And the labor movement is an important part of this. We have a structure in our unions and in our communities that can help get this done. We need to promote organizing in our unions, and we need to tell working people that they have real power when they join together in the unions to achieve the great goals of our time. We can do this. Si se puede. Together. Have a great conference and let's go forward with solidarity in our hearts. Thank you.